I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to force myself to make quick decisions. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an average. I call the exercise Siamese Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to use my smartphone with the stopwatch app. This way I can track my time. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. And then we'll take an average under two minutes. That's my goal. If you're a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you're intermediate, give yourself three minutes and eventually push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes. Another guideline to keep in mind is eight discards or less for whatever plan you come up with. If you have eight discards or less, you have a really strong start for the game. Let's see how it goes with these sprints. I'm going to roll these dice just to randomly determine if we're player one or player two. Player one will be odd, player two even. In this case, I rolled an 11, which is an odd number. So we're going to be player one. I will get 28 tiles. Okay, we have lots of jokers, flower, pair south, pair one, three, pair one, three, five. I think I might try little odds, maybe even the little odds pair hand. And then up here, what about a quint with wins? So that choice gives us nine discards. One, three, five pair hand, quint. Maybe keep the eight, nine for an option. Eight, nine, dragon. Options are good. I think that's what I would do here. We need flowers. We could quint, quint, draw flowers. Here we need a three dot, five cracks. I think there's a really good chance for that pair hand. That would be the third hand down, one, three, five pair hand. Let me know what you think about these choices and if you would do something different, right? Sprint one and what you would do with these tiles. If the pair hand didn't come in, we could play one, three, three, five. Use this as joker bait. But I would try that pair hand. Okay, I rolled an 11. That is an odd number. So we're going to be player one again. Okay, <laughs> wow, look at this. We have a lot of dots and a lot of bams. We do have two, four, six, eight potential. I think I might even try to play the two, four, six, eight dragon hand maybe. Two, four, six, eight with dragon, this does correspond. 
let's see, 2468, and then up here, we do have a pair of threes down there, maybe 369, 369, pair hand. I would just hold all the 369, 2468. So this would give us eight, 13 discards, which is kind of significant, actually. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine. I think that's what I would do, though. Even though this is a little light, three, six, nine, pair hand, two, four, six, eight. Maybe keep these. for two, four, six, eight options there. It's always good to have a plan B. If you end up with a lot of discards, try to have a plan B. So for two, four, six, eight, these could be plan B. Maybe the two, four, six, eight pair hand, we would have to throw away these well, end that. I don't think I would play the 2468 pair hand. I think the 2468 dragon hand is really good. Second from the bottom, no gaps. Of course, we need to pair up. We'd have to throw this away too. There's also a 2468 one suit hand. Third one down. That way we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to throw any of these away. I think the other thing I would do is keep the red in case 369 turns into like numbers with nines or threes and dragons could be used. So that's a little bit better having options. So let me know if you would do something different here. 2468, 369. Don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. I rolled a nine. That's an odd number. So we're player one. We have news. Do we have like numbers? Yes. How about the news pair hand? News with eights. Hmm, that's pretty light, actually. Eight tiles. That's more than halfway there, though. So then with the rest of these tiles, we could do like numbers with sevens. So let's see, that's pretty light too. Let's see here, seven. Five, seven, nine, maybe a five, seven, nine hand. Maybe like numbers with eights up here. This could be joker bait. Okay, so I would play like numbers with eights, news pair hand, or like numbers with eights and dragons. Then down here, five, seven, nine. Big odds, and I wouldn't pick a hand. I would gather. We could do five, seven, seven, nine, 
but I wouldn't dedicate these that early. I would gather. Let's see. Seven, five. Maybe hold the one for a potential for seven, five, twelve addition hand. Okay, I think that's what I would do here. That would leverage every multiple but one and use that as joker bait. Maybe even hold the four, discard those first because we could alternate if we get the other four, we could do like numbers with fours and use the eights down here for something consecutive with seven, eight, nine. This one would take some fancy footwork. And if you would do something different here, let me know. A lot of jokers, but I don't think I would play a quint, not with these tiles. I don't think we have the right tiles for a quint. I mean, we could do eight dragon, eight quint there, uh, but then we would have, let's see, eight. Yeah, I mean, there's some potential there for the like number with dragon quint using all these, but that would leave hardly anything to do down here. We'd have to draw really well and discard news. I still think the news pair hand would be nice. Okay, let's see how things went with time. When I play Siamese Mahjong, I try to come up with a plan that leaves me with eight discards or less. Sometimes if you have joker bait and eight discards or less, that's okay because with the right timing, you could get jokers in your hand with the joker bait, but it's best to try to utilize as many multiples as you can with your decision making. Let's see how things went with time. For sprint one, I had one minute, 18 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes exactly. Sprint three, two minutes and 13 seconds. So as an average, I made it under two minutes, but I had situations where I had a lot of discards, including joker bait. So if I had more time, I might be able to come up with some other plans. Always keep an eye on your discards. Eight discards or less, I think is a really good guideline. Let me know what you think about that. And if you have a guideline with your decision-making when you play Siamese Mahjong, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.